Your Excellency, a total number of 24 vehicles were completely burnt down, while 69 vehicles were vandalized. Most worrisome is the fact that four of the burnt vehicles are official operational vehicles, while a total of 82,000 kilograms of different types of guns were either looted, burnt, or destroyed by the criminals. This has created a serious challenge in the prosecution of cases before the Federal High Court. Coupled with the fact that all the awaiting drug suspects were set free at the correctional services. Operations in the state has been completely drowned. The last months, we have received serious reports of upsurge in the reports of indiscriminate use and abuse and trafficking in drugs. To deal with the issue of the escaped image from the correctional services, you, you know, we were the only state that was so affected in the country. And um, it's not easy for the state. Um, well, we commiserate with you. You have to also understand from the state standpoint that in terms of prioritization today, um, we have not recovered ourselves. Uh, our medical stores were vandalized. So if a child is born in Edo today, I have to go and look for money to buy vaccines because all the vaccines that most of the vaccines in that place were vandalized. So in terms of priority, you should understand that uh, we suffered losses too, and so we're also incapacitated. And we are also looking for resources to rebuild. The uh, only thing we can assist with is the temporary, temporary accommodation, which you know, I, I believe I saw the, the request, and um, I saw, so also saw the suggested uh, accommodation you were requesting for. Um, we're looking into it, and within a few days, a decision will be made, and um, it will be communicated to you.